हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम प्रोफेसर एम बी शिंदे फ्रॉम सीगड कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग पंढरपूर लेट स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन द अकॉस्टिक्स एंड साऊंड इन्सुलेशन बिफोर दिस वी हॅव कवर्ड थ्री पार्ट्स अँड इन लास्ट पार्ट थर्ड पार्ट वी हॅव कवर्ड द पॉईंट शोन ऑन दिस स्लाईड फॅक्टर्स इन द अकॉस्टिकल डिझाईन अँड अमॉंग दिस फोर फॅक्टर्स आर कवर्ड साइट सिलेक्शन वॉल्यूम शेप एंड इंटेरियर सर्फेस लेट स्टार्ट विथ द डिस्कशन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज रिवर्बरेशन वॉट इज रिवर्बरेशन द टाइम ऑफ रिवर्बरेशन इज अनदर फैक्टर विच अपेक्ट द गुड एकोस्टिक्स ऑफ बिल्डिंग द फॉलोइंग जनरल प्रिंसिपल शुड बी रिमेंबर्ड बाय द डिजाइन अ शॉर्टर ऑप्टिम रिवर्बरेशन पीरियड इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर रिप्रोड्यूस साउंड सच एज ऑफ ग्रामोफोन साउंड फिल्म एट्सेट्रा then that of that of original one this is on account of fact that there is already some reverberation present which has been introduced at the time of recording then for direct orchestral music suppose are there for direct orchestral music the reverberation time required is about 50% longer than for a, a unaided pitch and for chloral music chloral it is about longer this is because of the fact that in music blending of sound is desirable especially when the succeeding sounds are harmonious wherein speech excessive reverberation leads to a ring effect means echo will form you will hear the same sound while providing absorption power in the hall it should be considered that reverberation time not uniform throughout the auditorium if average time of reverberation is 1.3 second uh, normally reverberation time i told you it varies between 0.5 to 2 second maximum we can go for the 3 second for the proper or optimum reverberation time so here it is considered if the average time of reverberation is 1.3 second then it may be 1.5 second in the main hall 1.2 second in balconies and 1.1 second in the below the balcony see the distribution of reverberation time see the next point sitting arrangement and the audience in the seat and sitting arrangement uh, furnishing and the audience contribute to great extent the absorption present in the room in the audience may be largest contrib- contributor to the absorption from the audience is it uh absorption coefficient for seated audience is uh, near about 0.46 meter square sabines in the hall to ensure optimum absorption from the audience the seats of required absorption absorption coefficient for plain seat was 0.02 meter square sabines and for cushion seat is between 0.1 to 0.2 meter square sabines are arranged so that the heads in one row do not intercept the passage of direct sound to the person in the row immediately behind them see the addition to this sitting arrangement should be uh, should be uh, as to ensure good audibility and visibility sitting accommodation for this purpose will be such as to cover an angle of 90 degree with horizontal and 30 with vertical on the basis the instance of the front row works out to be uh, work out to be our 4 meter from drama and you should be 4.5 meter for the cinema purpose again i would like to add one more point the width of seat should be between 45 to 55 cm the back to back distance of chairs in successive rows of seat should be at least 85 cm but maybe more up to 105 cm means more than 1 meter depending upon the comfort desired comfort desired or good sound absorption to keep the optimum reverberation time within limit sound absorbing material or acoustical materials are used so here to make effective use of this sound absorbing material the zone of their installation should be should be very carefully decided thus it is evident that considerable saving in cost may be achieved by useful positioning of acoustical material so saving in uh, acoustical material like so just 
now we have covered the point you can uh, plan the seats between 45 to 55 centimeter sometimes they may be extended up to 1 meter see the difference between the size more the higher the size of the seats higher will be the cost of material lower it is lower will the cost of material so this one the about sitting arrangement and audience now next point uh, now next point is the sound absorption huh, one more point um, all these uh, design details will see in uh, further slides also now we will cover the sound absorption see for achieving good acoustical requirement of design some other materials known as sound absorbent or acoustical materials are fixed on the surfaces of auditorium or room the sound waves on striking the solid material experience greater resistance than while passing through the air. When sound waves strike resilient and porous surface, the considerable energy will be dissipated as heat in passing through it pores, which are interconnected through a series of small channels, thus the resultant absorption is very high. The efficiency of the sound absorption therefore depends more upon the porosity of the material used as a sound absorption. See, the term sound absorption coefficient is used to express the percentage of incident sound that can be absorbed by the material. The open window has a coefficient of absorption as unity 1 and hence the absorbing capacity of all other material is compared with the open window unit as a standard. Thus, if the absorption coefficient of material is 0.5, this would mean that material is capable of absorbing 50% of incident sound. 50% of incident sound as compared to 100% of an open window. And already we have covered this sound absorption coefficient for each material will be different different. For example, suppose brick walls are there. Uh, for low frequency it is 0 0.01, medium 0 0.02, high frequency also it is taken 0 0.02. Suppose plaster is there, lime or gypsum. So for low frequency it is to be taken as a uh, plaster 0 0.02, medium also 0 0.02 and high frequency 0 0.04. See thus how the as per the materials and uh, frequency of sound the coefficient varies that you have to consider in the absorption of sound. Next, we will move Now next we will move ahead, uh, see the slides which cover these points uh, in brief that we have already discussed. This is about the site selection, it talks about the orientation layout, structural design should not should be done accordingly, noise reduction, same points, possibly to avoid the busy streets, railways, airports, nearby noisy factories, all these things. This is the volume that already I have discuss public lecture hall see the volume meter cube per person 2.8 to 3.7 musical concert hall 4.2 to 5.6 cinema theater 3.7 to 4.2 this is about the shape important one is uh, ceiling height for a room or hall to be kept uh, to be used for the speech and music is kept varying from one third to two third next one this is the table Already we have covered this one also. This is the relationship between ratio and volume per seat. This is factors in acoustical design like treatment of interior surfaces. So this one is also covered. Covered. Next one. Reverberation. See here. Uh, already we have covered this point. For orchestral music, reverberation is about 50% of 
longer than that of unaided speech means normal speech for music it is 40% longer so reverberation time is required this is about the sit sitting arrangement these points also cover width of uh, seat 45 to 55 back to back distance 85 to 105 in case higher absorption is required we can increase the width of seat up to the 105 cm 105 cm this is uh, sound absorption this one was the last point um, here one point uh, that we have not covered one is the distemper absorption for distemper like paint it is kind of paint is higher than a paint so we can provide the distemper if we want more absorption and uh, this one point the wood panels has high coefficient at lower frequency so wood panels also absorb the more sound with low frequency of sound also <clears throat> this is open air theaters uh, now we start the planning design of one by one units first one we'll see the open air theater See, open air theater. The selection of the site for an open air theater should be done very carefully considering the topographical, meteorological, and acoustical properties of all available locations for the theater. Quietness is the most important of all acoustical consideration in selection of the site. The average noise level should not exceed 40 decibels. The second point is mentioned here for a satisfactory site of a theater. The slope of sitting area should not be less than about 12 degrees for good audibility and visibility. So that also mentioned point number 3. Um, a properly desired orchestral shell is a must for an open air theater. This is required for two purposes. One is the reflective power of shell raises the, uh, rises the average sound levels throughout the unit area. And the shell enables the stage performers to hear each others more easily. And uh, the sound amplification system should be provided, especially where the strength of audience or auditors will be more than 600. So sound amplification system, that was the last one. This is about open air theater. Next one is the cinema theater for sound films. See, the various shapes of floor plan have given good acoustic conditions, but a fan shaped plan is the best one. The ceiling of the auditorium should be splayed type with a slight upward slope towards the rear side. Uh, second point, first point, second point, we have heard. Uh, already we talk about third point, the ratio between height, width and length. It should be approximately between 1s to 2s to 3 because the uh, capacity or number of people's persons in the cinema hall may vary between 800 to 1000 so here height to width to length ratio is taken as 1 is to 2 is to 3 the volume of sound film theater should be between 3.5 to 4.5 meter cube per seat that already covered here uh, one more point that i uh, would like to add here the echo effect should be prevented at any cost see if echo will generate you will lose the feel of cinema there so your most important point is that you have to prevent the echo effect particularly by avoiding the curved surface and with diverging side walls has been considered to be the best so try to avoid the curved surfaces in the cinema theater volume mentioned here now next one is the radio broadcasting studios see uh, the basic requirement of radio bro broadcasting room is uh, first one perfect soundproofing 
or noise insulation and second variable reverberation time variable reverberation time these are the two important basic requirements of radio broadcasting or casting studios to accomplish the first requirement the floors walls and ceiling must be of rigid massive construction to minimize transmission of sound by diaphragm like vibrations and reduce resonant reflection to a minimum and to achieve second point that is variable reverberation time is very important because not only different reverberation times are required for each program but also for each item in it such as pitch low and high frequency music etc so variable reverberation time required sometimes there may be speech there may be um, drama there may be something else so based on the this kind of shows even the time should be variable remember so this requirement is fulfilled by uh, by um, uh, by suppose uh, broadcast if there are number of studios if there are number of studios in the same building it's preferable to locate all of them on the same floor first one and second in some studios arrangement of hinge panels or shutters in the wall is adopted one surface of the rotatable panel is made absorptive while the other one is kept reflective this construction device is cheap and easy to maintain uh i'd like to one add one point with the ratio h height width w and length should be between 2s to 3s to 5 see the noise level it should be between 25 to 30 decibels the noise level in the studio should be brought down you have to make it down less than the 30 decibel you can change it or uh, vary it between 25 to 30 the shape of studio should be rectangle with flat ceiling remember important point and the reverberation time should be correct in relation to the volume and absorbing surface to give frequency characteristics of variety of broadcast provision of window in the studio should be minimum so as to minimize the transfer of noise from outside to inside of building the studio room must be reasonably airtight and should be ventilated with conditioner condition air supplied through the silence grills air conditioning plants Uh, machineries and such other equipment should be suitably insulated so that their vibrations are not carried up to the working chambers of studio heavy curtains and uh, draperies may be used with advantage to control or regulate the time of reverberation in studio so friends today we'll stop here next we'll cover it next point we'll cover it next part thank you